What's up y'all? It's me Tasha C and this particular video y'all will be reviewing Love and Hip Hop um Hollywood. What is it? Season 2, Episode 5, 6, 7, something like that. Also is Why Me? Why? <sighs> I like to call that just because um sorry y'all I'm trying to do a timer here. Okay. But anyways. Shout out to my YouTube fam and my you know, if you're not part of my YouTube family, don't forget to, to subscribe and like, share, people that. Thank you for all the support, y'all. Like, if y'all don't watch my Black and Crew, this is what I was wearing in Milani. Lip Intense Lip Color, because I got, like, a lot of, like, my YouTube fan that was loving the color. All oh, Violet Attic. I looked, I looked up at this at the dollar store. Wonders, ain't it? <laughs> I, just, I mean, not the Dollar Tree. Specifically, the Dollar Tree. You know, sometimes they be having, like good good stuff for a dollar and stuff and you be like oh shit i got two dollars i can get more than one okay. but anyways i don't know if i should start putting the lip color you know if i wear lipstick that i should put in there because tiki 44 my youtube cousin here well, hey tiki <laughs> she had girl you mean to tell me they got fuchsia with red pearl red pearl now not blue pearl because i don't like blue pearl that much Ugh. but red pearl 99 cent I just watched your video, so yeah, I'm going to make a trip to one more. <laughs> so anyway, oh gosh. But anyways, y'all, what I'm saying is, is that uh, this was supposed to be an emotional episode, and I can't say whether or not, you know, uh, here, here's the thing. We had full... A full scene where people are going to take an emotional. And I'm not saying the scene is not real. I just, I don't know if it just happened beforehand because of the circumstances. And I still be asking all them questions. And the reason why I say that is, is because I'm like, still, nobody told you information. Like I said, I was bringing up the last bit about the high school thing and people we knew before we uh, most of us went across the stage and I, I ain't gonna lie I was fucking up during my last especially my last semester I mean last year there but I graduated though but what I'm saying is is that most of us already knew who was it was a couple of people who was comfortable and they came out after high school but nine times out of ten we are all of us pretty much knew or people already felt comfortable about coming out and so I'm just confused about the best friend out of all people, also ex girlfriend out of all people, your old play sister, your play cousin brother, we even call it, even if they weren't never sexually involved, you know, in a relationship, like relationship official, like, you know, that's my boo. I have some questions. I'm sorry. I know it was emotional. She, you know, Hamburg found the news. Miles finally told her. It took a minute that the therapist. I know she's been a couple VH1 shows before. I don't know why I first thought she was one of Wilson Phillips' sisters. Hold on to one more day. I don't know why she looked like that one. Okay, never mind. That's wrong for me. But she do look like her a little bit if you don't pay attention. And you, you know, you wear glasses all the time. Okay, but that's beyond the point. But what I'm saying is, is that. When she heard the news with Miles, well, Miles was like, I gotta go to bed. Uh, uh, he was just like this. He was hard for him to say. He was just like, he felt some way about men. And he's been in a relationship. And she runs out there, takes off her coat. She stopped her off to roll on the sidewalk. And that's what say. Miles decides to go try to go to the bathroom and try to avoid her once he says this information. She already ran out the side. And he's trying to stay in. I don't know if she's threw hands on before and she's saying something. I don't know what it was, but he knew maybe she might fuck him up. I don't know. Well, I know she stopped, dropped, and rolled. She was crying, especially got the vehicle when the, the therapist had to bring him outside to try, like, you know, you know, don't just walk away. Uh, you need to say something. And he just like, I don't know. And then, you know, by that time, she's just like, let me know, go. You know, she tried to do a swing and they had to take him back away. And she's talking, the therapist is talking to her. And she... By the time it's cry, her eyes out, her hair is in the bun. I don't know if she's going to fuck it up because it was not in the bun. It was, you know, you know, like this. So I don't know if she planned on throwing hands at first or whatever or felt we need to fight because she like called my mama and she was like, I won't tell everybody. No, no offense, but like I said, this is where the big thing is where she don't know. And then you keep saying like, 
how long has he been leading her on? Has she just been, you know, putting her cooch on ice all the time? The reason why I said it is because they still, or maybe because they really trying to keep it to themselves. The way that she acted, if she was waiting on a relationship, wasn't occasionally that they were sexually involved. You know what I mean? I don't know. And that's what's so, not to say you want to, but, but it just kind of doesn't add up. Even if it's once in a while, every other holiday or something, something is like for her to be led on. And these look like grown ass people who at least probably already hit the 10 year reunion. I'm just wondering how the fuck do you not know this? It's a sad situation, but I just feel like it's sad. It is wrong for me to sit, probably say this, something, but I still kind of like you either you knew this or knew this before the show happened only because how the way it leaves questions if you look at it from the angle i know she cried and everything else and that's sad especially if this is real and she did not know and but she admitted in the confessionals amber was like i thought something i had felt it it wasn't just felt. She was like, she dealt with people saying he was gay after high school. But she's like, people, you know, they had, the, you know, they were haters. And the thing is, is that, yeah, there are some people that, not to say, because, you, know, you know, there are some people who say some foul shit like that about your ass. Some, that means some occasions. Just because, even though Miles, you know, has better skin in my ass at the moment. But what I'm saying is, is that. She knew, and it's like, Miles has been around her since, what, 10th or 11th grade or something like that? And nobody knew that something was up? I'm, I'm just, I'm confused. So, you know, the therapist trying to talk about, you know, there's something you want to say. She's trying to explain, like, he didn't do that out of her. And, you know, that type of talk to calm her down. Do you want to meet another day? You know, she said she'd give it time, but not right now. She just tell them, you know, she want to relay message, um, rely message, and she like, you know what, just do it after, you know, at, you know, do it after. Basically, like, I'm not ready right now. I do love him, and that's that. So, in other words, then she goes back to tell Miles Purpose, like she can't do it right now or whatever. And Miles was some type of way to go back to talk a little bit, and he feels like he ruined her. And broke her heart. She was like, yeah, you were an opportunity to ruin her, broke her heart. But it's like, it's something as far as him getting by so But before Amber left, Amber was like, you know what? I need to call his family to some people and his friend, midline that he's been around and he's gay. So he has he been with him and blah, 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 blah. And that's what I'm saying is for her to know, even though, like I said, it's like you, she did, as we all know, it looked like a scene from more, you're a Noctifier, or whoever's this Bill dude that comes on, you know, he be on channel, what, CW now, and he's kind of like, reminds me of Bill, I mean, uh, another, more, one of Maury's Long Lost Cousin type of shows, but okay, that's another story, but what I'm saying is, is that I'm still like, huh? I could honestly personally to me it would be more believe because this does actually happen in real life and it's sad but to me it still kind of makes me draw a little red flag with the situation that this was not known but ahead of time because of this if they would have been like i said they just got out of high school and he would have told her this you know what i'm saying it just may seem like for the years this what went past by and we passed the teenager early 20s they might be in mid to late 20s i don't know but it just seemed like they're you know what I'm saying? It, it should be obvious by now. You know what I'm saying? Especially, she keeps saying as if, you know, even if, like I said, even if it wasn't another dude, if he been coming up with excuses of why y'all can't be together or whatever the way it is, or he used to show her off or honestly make her into beard whether she knew about it or not. But... Other than that, it's kind of like she just was saying the way it's like he just showed me off, blah blah blah. But if he's stand offish to a certain degree or does not want to be an intimate, you know, official relationship with you, you just said it's gonna take you know what I'm saying? Saying it's just like somebody else was there anyway, you know, like based on what she was talking about. But it's like I said, you know, he needs you know, hope this help him out whenever he actually came out, but I mean, or, or people. But, I mean, that is a real reaction to some people. They find out or you like somebody or maybe a family member. Well, I'm not going to sit here and 
joke completely around the situation. But I just personally feel like it could be that it did kind of emotionally hit, especially like I said, now Amber's respond inside the car and miles, especially like towards the end and we're just gonna get this out the way. So we got Amber, she's talking to her mom, uh, grandma, grandma, she calls her grandma. And even was like, she had a feeling that the boy, you know, he was interested in it. And she said like, he is, you know, the relationship with man and you know, but I'm just like, you know what? Well, you know what? You ain't got to deal with that no more. I've been through stuff and women learn sometimes and they got to learn a certain way. And I guess that's what she was saying. Like with Amber, you know, sometimes the only way a person going to listen is if they on their own experience. You know what I mean? Some people can sit there and talk to them over the blue, especially when they're growing as hell and think they're growing hell or they legally are grown as hell. And you can do is pray and, you know, hold it, follow the um, Son and Holy Spirit. But what I mean by that is that Maybe they might have hinted or hopefully she got the hint and um and they realized she was gonna have to find out on her own. But the way they was acting like I was surprised because I was like, wait a minute, would you have it? I'm just surprised this is what it's kinda like me. The first thing when she told her grandma was like, Wait a minute, you mean to tell me you've been up there he been messing with you and messing with some men's? What? You need to get te no nobody just I, I just I don't maybe it's just me but I'm just like it's sad but I just it's still questions there maybe it's not meant for us to know shit but that then we got Miles he finally comes at the end we don't see him out nowhere this episode but Miles towards the end decides to come and tell his both his sisters older sisters whatever I don't know. I, I know he said ne their dads were not in the picture or whatever. And he said he been fighting for this for a while. And he said, you know, that he's had a relation, you know, relationships with men and confirmed it. And he's like, you know, his family, you know, or his baby got, and they're just like this. You got one sister's mad, like, we wanted you to have a wife and we wanted nieces, nephews. And I was just, I ain't gonna lie, I was a little bit concerned about the sister that was just like, you know what, are you gonna, you know, to put the F word in God in the same sentence and put it like the F word and God right next to each other? So you just gonna, God and get and God, whatever, you know, she just said, I'm just like, ooh, 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 okay. Um, that was a little bit harsh, but you know, so what I'm saying is, is uh, overall, um, it was kind of sad, but they realized they're going to be there for him. They're just going to take it one step at a time because they're basically like, you're doing what's going on. They even try to ask him, like, so what are you? He doesn't want to be labeled, but he does say, because I've only seen a couple minutes of the special that they had. Um, I don't know. I don't think I'm going to review it, but I'm only putting this in for a reason. Is that they had also, they had, um, DMC from DMC. I didn't remember Big Frida. Y'all heard, uh, heard of all Big Frida music. And the, I didn't remember everybody. I think they had Snoop they showed in the co commercials. Not Snoop Dogg, but Snoop. Okay, he used to play on the wire and shit. Okay. They had her on there as well. And they had Fizz and Ray J on there. And interesting enough, Fizz was saying something about, you know, Tom. But he said, he, do you remember the rumors when they used to say he was, you know, in the gay group? Or, you know, unfortunately, he used to say, be too gay. And we, but while I was known for unfortunately the other accusations and about some of them photos that were a little bit questionable and it was more in terms of we had you know possible a uh, pervert pedophile but okay never mind but y'all know that situation Chris, Chris Strokes or whatever the fuck his name was and Ray J some people question that just the fact that he has a tramp stamp supposedly <laughs> but that's what they call it they said he got a tramp stamp right on his lower back or whatever I don't know I don't like him saying that word but anyways they were talking about it as well, um, about the situations, about how accepted. So if y'all, you know, got a chance or had time to look at the special, you know, y'all put I get comments below about what y'all think about it or, you know. I do think it needs to be more awareness about this, you know, issue and about, you know, um, but I'm just saying that, you know, with the Miles Mill, I wonder will Miles Mill come back next season? You know, even whether they're a couple or not, I don't know if they'll come back and if it'll still be where only one to two castmates will film with them. Because the only one who has filmed with them isn't only just been Hazel, 
And Amber is not a, like she's like a cast member, cast member under, but it's either been, of course, Amber or like Hazel, but that's it. Ain't that it? I may forget, but I know those are the ones that stand out. But, anyways, who's the other one? Now, they got Naya, they're talking Nikki, baby, and you know, Willis wife. And they're talking, and Nikki got, I'm surprised that wasn't one of her out, outerwear um, jumpsuits for her uh, lingerie line. And, you know, they had to do close-up of her body, you know, in the Barbie world body and shit. And they're talking, and, you know, um, you know, Nice gets disrespected, and, you know, about, again, and talking about Soldier Boy, he didn't prepare her about the situation, went to go see Nas, and... It turns out with text phone, he was actually talking, and, you know, fucking with her and stuff again. And, you know, she just tired of being disrespectful. And, you know, Nikki has said that she was invited, you know, um, you know, of course she'd been messy. And, of course, she's going to invite and confront Nas. Like I said, what is up with these girls going to these events, dressing up and shit, or even going to these events where, you know what I'm saying, they're not dressed for the occasion. They ain't dressed for no fight shit. They and full fucking makeup and shit and ready, you know what I'm saying? Like, supposedly, even just the fact that you supposedly trying to do the shit, okay, is too much. So, we just gonna get this out the way because I needed somebody to get some Lysol, some hand sanitizer, because this was some fuckery. But anyways, beforehand, Nia goes to see Soldier Boy, and they go for a dinner. And you notice that she said he thinking a dinner stuff is gonna, like, make everything better, you know. But she didn't mention that she was able to keep that gemstone that he gave her, you know, when that nice nah, situation her phone and she admitted she pulled her hair and she got her hair and that's all they got but yeah she didn't mention the ruby gemstone again okay but so she goes there and lets him know like um you know she felt some type of way nothing is changing and you know you, you we need to work on things and here's old boy why why is it that I'm deep? I'm always weird with you except that one time, the one thing you gonna throw it against me. You the one who had a baby, so you need to be talking. Then you be with your thought friends, and who the word would you be doing? Blah blah blah. You need to be talking about me, man. You just up that fuck you bitch. Blah 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 fuck you bitch. Soldier swag. Swag. You know, just I'm like the fuck and why is he yelling? We can hear you, and I damn sure know now I can hear your damn ass. The fuck? Oh gosh, we were soldier boy going. Remember that message that he just had last week talking about and he was gone, he might as well join the last time on Earth, and then he apologized, he was just going through some things, so hopefully he get his stuff together, I don't know what the hell is wrong with Soldier Boy, okay, but I'm just saying, he's sitting there with a fucking Texas Ranger hat, you know, only, only you can convince four, four aspired Smokey the Bear hat on the shit, and sitting up there talking tonight, and she had left, but like I said, he, they recently go back and forth, between it back and forth, back and forth, whatever, right, they're together one minute, and they not. Okay, but it was just so annoying that she sits here and keeps talking like this is the best she can do. You know, some things just because she can go back and forth to it don't mean you have to keep going back and forth to it, okay? But anyways, so we go to the other scene and like I said, that was the only scene we have with White. April wasn't in this, Amarion wasn't in this, whatever, right? We'll go to Fizz and Little B situation last in the little Ray J because Ray J and Terry B were getting that in a second. So, anyways, y'all, we go, and Nikki goes to visit her at the event. Now, so she said, you know, at first, I was going to, you know, we used some of the girls, but we were already fulfilled, and I just wanted to say, you know, basically about asking her, like, you know, she should value herself more, you know, about how she feel about, you know, her being in the situation. And now it's just like, you shouldn't be one talking. I'm a girlfriend, too, and stuff, but if... He's only claiming Naya, even though that's some bullshit itself, the fuck reality treats her. And she keeps falling for the okie doke and the swag. That she, you know what I'm saying, but she still, it's like saying she's a girlfriend or whatever as well too. And she's trying to explain that Nikki should understand her, her the situation because of her and um her dude last year and Mark, he, whatever her name was, that you know got taken off the show. Um, but she's like, but I was the girlfriend, you know. You sitting here, you know, you the side chick. But Nas doesn't seem like you know she understands the situation. Like I said, Soldier Boy is leading her on her head, even if he's not claiming her. But he's just making you know it's probably one of those things when it's meant to be, it's meant to be. We don't know, but I'm just saying is is that she's putting herself in position, but. 
um, I'm just like this. Okay, now, so are you trying to be on the show too? But by the way, did y'all know it's also Soldier Boy in the confessionals? Like, he learned that he's not gonna fuck it with friends anymore. So, at least let you know he's gonna be fucking other females continuously because he had to remind us about, you know, his network. I'm worth 25 million. I'll get any female you want. But that just also means that your money is the reason why most of these bitches will fuck with you or even about 95 fucking percent. Because that means that that is the only value that you have is that you have to get women with money. And that's why they enjoy swag. So I don't know why I was thinking so much. Because I'm just like, okay, you seem like you wanted to bring it up so you can get more bitches after you kind of just went off of nine or whatever again. And... And, you know, like, that that that's not worth nothing as, if you're not growing and developing and shit like that. But it's like, that's all he was letting us know. I got all this money. I don't need you. But, but he let it be known. Now, and now, it's like, I don't need either one of you bitches. I can, you, y'all can be replaced. Okay, so, <laughs> I'm just like, oh, soldier boy, you are a complete dickhead. And you know, you know how some people, you know, sometimes change their name or take the young or the little or stuff off it or a boy or something or girl or you know they change the name. Soldier boy is still good. The boy part is still right there because he still is a boy. Okay, that's that's all I gotta say about that fuck shit. Okay, but anyways, going back to the shop. So Nikki hurts you. Nikki go on the side or something. And you know, it's like I don't know if this this exchange or something. I don't know or this whatever you know side don't you touch me you know how nikki is with that finger don't you touch me don't you touch me don't you touch me and you know now it's like security and i'm thinking like girl mm -mm. nobody again security has been took your ass away from the situation usually not the other way around I, i'm just sorry they usually swoop her up they didn't swoop her up at all damn boot camp okay so all of a sudden, Nikki, you know, gets on the side. You know what? You about to stop. You're not going to put your hands on me anymore. You know, puts a little cup on the side. And then, here go. Uh, uh, nah. <laughs> just throws up. And then she tries to throw her hand, Nikki. She throws a glass of champagne. Nikki's just like, oh, I'm fabulous and, and, and stuff, whatever. But I'm like this. Uh-uh. That's a violation. Put that bitch to the side of Nair's bathroom. What the hell? Like... Even if Nikki wasn't there, she obviously had a hangover, you know, drunk some liquor, liquor before, you know, and didn't drink enough and didn't, you know, do, I was just like, what the hell is this nasty shit? And then all of a sudden, she calls back, Nikki was like, oh, you about to throw up again, and blah, blah, blah. And then they show again her throwing up like this water, you know. It was kind of waters and stuff. Y'all remember the exit? And that was green slime. But I swear, I was like, I thought she was going to say your mother sucks cocks in hell or some shit. Because it was just like, eh, 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 she had to do it again. Eh, eh. You know, like, girl, get that fixed. <laughs> like I said, so even if, like I said, even Nick wasn't there, it still was going to be a problem. You hosting the event and you so fucked up or fucking for like this new store. And even though Nikki has no, you know, um, problem like fucking up something you know that's her gig she wouldn't want nobody messing with her money so she can get an extra touch up if you know what i mean you know but yeah so she just you know left nikki was like no no Nick, this year bum bitch or whatever you know type of thing but i think they had to take knives to the back but i knew that was like coming the second to last scene before i think miles had you know came out to the sisters and so the last fucking event let's wrap it up real quick Little B goes talk to Tiny. Tiny's already looking like, you know, she used to use the best Instagram filter because this is now she's got gray eyes and some blue hair. And she's giving out marriage advice. And, um, but she's made it to Little B like, you know, you need to get yourself together and you are a hothead and you have to think about being accountable for the fuckery you do too. And because she was talking about to bring things still to her. Okay, because Little B, why does she talk like this in the confessionals? And this, like, she about to turn and switch into Wonder Woman, one of them other fucking damn superheroes or some shit, so we may all turn to stuff. Just something, because she always has to talk like this. <laughs> okay, like, she about to talk. But anyways, watch Little B was talking like this in the next episode. <laughs> but Max is up here. I don't mean to be talking about people's teeth, because I don't need to talk shit, but... I'm like, it's something about his teeth that stands out. 
and it's not the whiteness it's just here and he's in the studio with little fizz and you know i hate that sometimes I'm, i know i strongly dislike sometimes when they have these songs the good ass songs and they try to auto tune the fuck out of it like it makes your voice here go a little fizz in the studio i need a man in the bed sitter and uh, uh. So he sits down and talks to Max. And Max is like, you know, talked about his marriage, you know, what's going on, and they're having problems. And he sits there and he lets it be known that, you know, he's going through this. And did you know Fizz was so fucking damn high? He was like, you know, I ain't got my wedding ring and, and stuff. And here go Fizz, you don't have your wedding ring on. <laughs> what type of way does it ain't stop it, Snoop Dogg? store some shit and get the, okay whatever else is on you know <laughs> so but yeah so but Vince was saying like this he even knows that even when he's in a real relationship he's official and he's a one woman man and you know some serious about he about the significance of ring he was also advertising like ladies you know what I'm saying like when I'm real I'm real and then I can be real with you and we can go all the way with this okay we can take it to the uh, a Victoria's Secret and all, baby. I'm there for you, okay? <laughs> so anyway, y'all, back to Fizz and his blunted reality. Um, <laughs> But he's talking and he's basically like this, how Max has to make it work as well. We all know that Max had let us know, like, he, Lil B has his back, even though it's crazy that she is. And even though he threw that ring in the bushes, like, he got that, you know, that ring from somewhere like a bubblegum factory machine or something like that. Or Claire's or, you know, nearest store that had, like, you know, not the real jewelry, but, you know, it's close enough. It looked like it uh, for the beauty supply store. And then you left it on too long and it's just some green start forming around the finger. That's how the way he threw that fucking ring was like that. You know what I'm saying? Or if y'all ever played Sonic... And you know how he hits the spikes and all the rings just fly out of nowhere. He just did that. So, um, he just like he got to make it work. And then Lil B got you know because he's like sure I I I love Lucy antics or something like that. Because I forgot to mention Fizz had to advertise he wants Nikki in the video and put some baby on her booty or whoever else this is. But but you know um, yeah. Because he's fascinated with Nikki at the moment. And then that's when Max mentioned, like, how Nikki and Little B, you know, was on some Scooby-Doo, you know, a mission. And so, he sit there and he talks to Max B. I'm... <laughs> Forgive me, y'all. It's do something in the morning. Bro, whoo, I put Max name and B together. And that's a total different person, Okay. Okay, but anyways, I meant to say this. Max and Little B talk. She got on some type of, I don't know, lingerie something thing on. And he talks and realizes he loves and he wishes he gets more rings. She was just hell happy when she see the boxes that that man, he got another ring. She ain't paid. Since he, when I seen two boxes, I mean, oh, you get one too. But she just like, ah, ah, ah. And he just put on a ring and... She was so happy. He's like, okay, would you would you take the ring? He thinking like, okay, I'd pay a little more extra. Would you take the ring? He didn't say it like that. And like, he was like, eat the cake anime, no shit. But he was just like, take the ring. And he like, uh, then she, oh, oh, okay. But she should have had this coat on, but she was just so happy. I mean, it looked like a nice, lovely upgrade, what I see. But she was just so happy that he leaves to go wear the ring. And, you know, wear, take, wear that ring, Max. Okay, wear the ring. Okay, <laughs> so... So they have a happily ever after at the moment, okay? Good for them. But anyways, last little part real quick before I get the hell on off of here. Now Ray J goes again to meet Terry uh, at this at this spot and make sure not only that he's not say he's not doing nothing, but also that he, you know, Terry Marie, you know, he that can't throw nothing at. And Ray J for once was one of the times that he actually made some sense. And, you know, Terry comes on there and he was letting her know, like, you came to basically fuck with me and Princess Malaysia. I think Princess is still, I think she moved on and gone. Um, Ray J looked like he didn't get no sleep in for about only for about one hour and, you know, took some energy drink before he came to that motherfucker. But that's another story. So, 
Tara Breeze basically like this, you know, like, I try to be there for her, look it out. It's a thing of loyalty. But Ray J had to let her know, like, you did that shit on purpose. You weren't really her friend. It wasn't to sit here and be there for her. It was basically to put her down, you know, so you could fuck with our relationship up. And she's like, I know you, Tara, man. And he just like, you know what? We ain't got to talk no more this over and over. And, you know, Tara, me, you know, like I said, if you notice, I think it's the same service um, car service that she used in the first season. That when she always meets Bray J somewhere. Now, then she get a DUI or something like that or whatever. Because I noticed that she never... Well, I can't say that we don't usually see the cat. We do see some of the cast member of Cars. But we always see Tara Reed. If we see her get out, it's always out where she's back with vehicle. Now, I don't know. We got some smitches doing that. We don't know. All I just know is that we always see her in the back of this SUV getting out. She just mad. Because even when Bray J was trying to get her out the car, I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> you know. And she's mad that Ray J, because Ray J was just like this. You only want me to be back with you and stuff. And this is why I try to set this. Now, yeah, she, he might be right. Because you're doing all this, but also just be bitter to be like, since you caused me pain, I'm going to cause you pain. And you know, we see how that shit ended. We, you know, we're going to be with this engagement. But it does question, like... Like Ray J said, no, nobody wants you. And she's like, ain't nobody really want me bothering you. But actually, Ray J has a better chance of people wanting him as opposed to Tara Reid. Especially after we've seen some of this shit and people just like, okay, you was foul. And she trying to justify it like, no, I was only trying to look out for you to see what type of person that she is. You know, type of thing. Try to do, I don't know what you're talking about. Okay, Tara Reid, whatever, you know. She needs to. Is she got another song? I mean, it seems like she stopped with that one song that she had with Young Bird. Or maybe because of circumstances. It seemed like her ass would have dropped off mixtape. I know this is off subject and shit. But it's like, um... What happened to mixtape? What? What happened? Really? Really no music coming out? Hazel E even spin out shit, whatever. It seemed like this banner been half the fucking season. And all you know for almost getting your stuff out of your ass. Because for spitting on folks, yo, you another nasty bitch too for doing that shit. Um, and on top of that, just being messy about this Ray J stuff situation. Like, girl, try to promote your music or voiceover or whatever the fuck you're trying to do. Besides, unless you're trying to get cast, it's like one of them damn thrillers that go straight to DVD or Netflix. I don't know what the fuck you're trying to do here, you know what I'm saying, <laughs> as far as anything. But, oh yeah, y'all, that's it, what we got. Y'all pleasant, we pleasant night for the weekend. I definitely see y'all next video. Alright, take care.